and welcome to my Holy Fit Kitchen. Um, today is the day that I'm going to be prepping my meals. I'm doing it a day early so that I can hopefully help you all out in your own kitchens and give you an idea of how quickly this actually can come together. I'm working on a few things, um, but first let's go back to um, meal planning. Okay, so we, walk, we I walked you through that. I talked to you about how I come up with this handy dandy calendar, um, which is also under the files tab. You can find three weeks worth of these, but for the purposes of ease and I enjoy it, I'm going to go ahead and copy my own week one and not make anything new and just follow this because it was easy and delicious. So once I've figured that out, the next thing I do is I make a list, I'm sure this is backwards, of all of the little things I need to make. So for example, for breakfast, I have eggs and spinach. So I'm going to need three containers worth of spinach to go with my eggs in the morning. So I've got spinach with one container times three, and that's for breakfast. This is just a healthy list for me. Um, and then I know for my snack, I'm going to have Greek yogurt and blueberries, and I'm having that six days out of the week. So I need six container fulls of those blueberries. And for the spinach and the blueberries, I'm going to put them in these nice little Ziploc baggies, snack size, they're perfect, um, so that I can just grab and go. The next thing I'm going to make are all of my vegetables for my lunch. Um, I like to have the same vegetables, call me boring, but it works, I like them, and they make me feel good, so I'm going to stick to them. Those are um, sliced tomatoes, carrots, broccoli, and sometimes I'll get fancy and throw in a little bit of spinach, but I get one cup full of these, so whatever fits in there, I get to have along with my lunch. Um, the other thing that I'm going to be making today is quinoa. I don't know if you know this, but one cup uncooked quinoa equals three cups cooked. So I'm going to go ahead and make that. It takes 10 minutes while I'm chopping up everything. And I'm going to, again, in baggies, pre-portion quinoa with this. And I'm going to put quinoa in the little baggies. And that goes along with my lunch. Or I can even use it um, as a carb side for my dinners. Another thing I'm going to be making today are my oatmeal cups. Um, I'm not autumn calories, so I can't say 100% for sure what the um, containers are that it breaks down for, but I can tell you for sure it's at least it's a yellow. There's not many ingredients in it. it um, each cup has almonds, it has almond butter, it has uh, almond milk, it has some maple syrup in there, which kind of sticks it together, but you could probably do without it because the bananas are so sweet. Um, it's a great thing to do when you have browning bananas. So I literally make a batch of these every single week and then they keep in the fridge. So for breakfast, I make my eggs, I take my, my oatmeal cup and I'm good to go. So I'm making those. Um, and then today, sorry, I'm not making my, my meatloaf muffins because I'm going to save that for tomorrow. But that's something that can be easily done as well while you're chopping or make that make the, um, the meatloaf muffin stuff first. So that's baking while you're cutting up all of your vegetables. Um, just a couple of tips for me. Um, I like to pre-make bulk items. So for example, here are my yummy oatmeal muffins and they're going to go right in the oven. These make 12. Um, so you don't really need 12, but they might make a good snack for later. But at least for breakfast, for maybe you, your husband, or your children, they could also have one. They're delicious. Um, so I pre-make those in bulk. I also make my meatloaf muffins in these tins as well. Um, so that's a bulk item. I also suggest that you pre-cut all of your vegetables and have them ready to go so that you can grab them on the fly if you need to or then your lunches are packed for work and your snacks. Um, I don't pre-cut things like apples because those turn brown. So just take the apple with you and bring a knife or an apple cutter to work um, as well as I just bring my jar of peanut butter. Um, I think it's great to invest in some good um, to-go containers. These happen to actually be takeaway containers that I've saved. But go to the store, get yourself some Ziploc containers that you can come home and wash out so that you can do things like pre-portion your Greek yogurt and your blueberries um, so that you can take those to work and bring it in your cooler. The other thing I would say is meal prep day. Try to do something like a crock pot meal that night. Um, so do that in the morning, Sunday morning, so that during normal meal prep time you'd be doing for Sunday dinner, your meal's already cooking, so you can just be doing your meal prep for the week instead. Um, 
So I think that's about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a fun video for you. It's gonna be super quick um, to show how I meal prep. I'm gonna tell you exactly how much time it was in real time. And then I'm gonna show you my finished product. So let's get prepping. Okay. minus the meatloaf muffins, but everything that I'm going to need to set me up for success for the entire week, Monday to Sunday. That's right, people. It's all in here, and I'm not joking. That took me 11 minutes, and while I was doing that, these beautiful muffins have come out of the oven, and a second batch is already in there, so... I'm definitely efficient. It takes, it takes some time, it takes some practice. My suggestion is to keep things simple. Um, don't go and try to be, you know, Martha Stewart in the kitchen and make things super elaborate. This doesn't have to be that way. Um, I mean, sure, go for it. I'm not gonna, um, you know, I don't, I don't want to discourage you from trying to be super creative, but at least to start, stick with something simple. Um, stick with a few crock pot recipes throughout the week um, so that you've got great leftovers and that's also just less stress um, when you come home in the evening. But you can help yourself out by pre-cooking chicken. You can um, go ahead and make soups. You can pre-cook you know, um, your rice, your quinoa like I did as well as um, just maybe pre-portion out seasonings that you're going to need. There's so many things that you can do ahead of time that will make your life just that much easier. Um, so I hope that this has been informative. Um, I love to take pictures of my food throughout the week. I find that it helps to keep me accountable for myself, um, getting to 
take pictures of what I'm eating. I'm sure all of you saw what I posted for the last round. Um, it definitely helped and it helped other people be motivated and it's what probably brought you here. Um, everything was delicious, everything tasted great. I loved that I lost a few pounds, I loved the amount of energy that I had and I loved that every Sunday I could just take a half hour, a half an hour minus big time, and set myself up for the week. It's just gonna, it's gonna change your life. Um, I'm sure you noticed I've used baggies. Um, I'm at home a lot of the time, but if I'm gonna be leaving, I can just take this baggie with me. Um, I can also put my salad or whatever in one of these great containers, which is something if you're going to work, go ahead and pre-make your salad with those chopped up vegetables and your spinach minus your dressing. You can put that in your little container. Um, but at least you've got salads ready to go. You can pre-cook your chicken and slice it and go ahead and put it in your salad and you just grab one and go. Um, it's really simple. Same with your Shakeology. If you're like me, I have a giant bag. But you could pre-portion those out into little baggies as well to take with you to work if you're not going to have that for breakfast. Um, another thing you can do, I like my egg and spinach omelet. You could make a muffin out of an egg. Like scramble it, put some spinach in it, pop that in the oven, then you've got egg cups. You can just take one and go. Well, you might want to heat it up, but you can just take one and go along along with one of these mini muffins and a Shakeology or something. Um, but there's just so many things that you can do ahead of time, and I hope that this was helpful. I hope that you could see how easy it was and how much it made me, and that it literally took me 11 minutes to do. So that's it. Um, I'm going to look to my other coaches to share what works for them and how they meal prep. And um, any questions that you have, please, please ask. But I hope this gives you a sigh of relief. This isn't hard. Um, my kitchen isn't a mess. And this isn't going to take up very much room in my refrigerator. I like to keep it in a bowl because then it's all organized and it's all mine. Um, but I hope that you've um, found something useful from this. And if not, ask questions. We start Monday and I don't want you feeling lost. Okay, I love you guys. Happy Saturday. Can't wait to send you a, what, a video tomorrow on how excited I am to get started and kick things off on Monday. All right, have a great day.